and welcome along and welcome back to our Seasons from Scratch Let's Play here on the Feldspurn. Um Today uh, we need to do some work with the chickens first. So if we have a look at our animals, um, our chickens are low on water um, and they are also low on food. So uh, we're going to get the sprayer off, uh, off our MB track here uh, and head out and see if we can sort those out. So, uh, first thing we need to do is lower the sprayer uh, so that we can get it disconnected. So, off with the uh, PTO. We have no uh, no connections or wires or anything. So, that is all good. Now, we'll just drop the front off and get that sorted as well. Uh, I'm not going to take the care wheels off this. The likelihood is uh, that we're going to be doing some spraying at some point uh, during this video. As it is, uh, I asked you. I asked you guys last time. Actually, would you like to see me continue on uh, or skip ahead to the harvest? And it was a resounding continue on. So uh, I'm quite pleased with that because uh, I quite wanted to continue on as well. So that's good news. Now I do know that we lowered this when we put it here. I think it's going to raise it when we pick it up. I'm hoping. Uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. So that catches on there. Whoa. So we uh, need to lower that down. And then we can pull it out. There we are. So raise it back up. Uh, so first thing we need to go and do is we need to go and clean up our chickens. I also think we may have some water left in the water trailer. So rather than use the valve this time, uh, I think we might try and empty that out and, uh, and get that done that way. So down with that. Let's open up. What? Is that going to open? It's getting the right key to do it. There we go. Right, and tip that down. Now, I, I think I might try and smooth this out here because it. we have to get this really far down because it lifts up uh, as we approach the chickens. But I think we have them all. I think we have all of the mess. So let's pull that up and tip that in. There we go. Uh, and we're going to fill this up. Now, the other thing I want to check today uh, is something that has been suggested to me by a couple of people in videos. And that is the use of our, uh, our buy anything silo here. So I'm going to buy the wheat uh, for us to feed the chickens. And I want to compare it to how much... Uh, a bag of wheat in the feed would cost. So, if we look in here in the big bags, a bag of wheat, so a wheat big bag here for a thousand liters uh, is uh, one and uh, is one and a half thousand pounds. So that's that's the price we're trying to beat. So I think we hold we hold two thousand two hundred in here. So that would be three thousand. Uh, about 3,300, I think, uh, is what this would probably cost us to fill this up. So uh, let's have a try and see how much it is. So fill with the wheat. And that goes in. And that is £719 uh, for a huge amount of wheat. Uh, well, compared to a big bag. So, yeah, I think, I think there is a cost there for some stuff. Certainly, it is the cheapest way for us to feed our uh, feed our chickens at the moment. Now, that's not to say that it might not be uh, cheaper for us uh, to get some wheat from one of our upcoming contracts, from one of our harvesting contracts. Uh, that may be the better way to go with it. Uh, but, again, we need to sort that out. I need to open the back of that. Uh, we need to sort that out. We need to work out exactly uh, whether that would be better or whether it would be better for us to sell that wheat and buy from our buy anywhere. Which again then begs the question, uh, maybe it's cheaper for us to, to just buy stuff from the buy anywhere and sell it straight away. That would be cheating. I'm not going to do it. But it's uh, it's an interesting thing. I'm, I kind of find myself wondering how much. That can't be right. It can't be cheaper. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the sale prices quickly, just to just to make sure I'm not going mad. No, so the sale prices per thousand liters here are much lower. 
But, ah, uh, no, they're not. They're really not. The price we're buying it at is cheaper. Because we bought 2,200 litres for 700. That's, that's less than, that's less than 350 you go. We could, yeah, that is, so yeah, you buy that cheaper than you can sell it for. That's slightly concerning off there. I don't know about that. I don't know about that at all. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll drop this off. I think as long as I'm doing small stuff with it, it's fine. Uh, but, yeah, fill an entire trailer with that, and that is very cheaty. So, that is, uh, oh, that is the chickens done for food. We need to head back and see if there's anything in our water tanker. Now, I have a feeling we may have, uh, hopefully this will empty the water tanker and we can return it. Uh, because we will no longer have need for it if that's the case. So, let's just reverse up to this. There we go. And grab that. And see. Uh, yeah, it does. Perfect. So let's empty that out. See how much of that they will take. Wow. We really, really did not need to build that. <laughs> we may keep hold of that water tanker for quite a while yet. Because that's still at 80%. So it's not going down very fast on the water at all. So, uh, yeah, so that is everything we have to do on our farm done, actually. Uh, our, looking at our canola here, that is coming along quite nicely. Uh, we'll have a... We, I, we, we, yeah, we sprayed for uh, weeds last time, so we don't have any weeds in our crop. Our crops themselves are doing quite well. Uh, the canola is going to be ready to harvest pretty soon. Uh, as is, wow, as is a lot of stuff on this map. I am really looking forward to hopefully getting a whole load of harvest contracts. And we are going to use the multi-mission mods and basically grab every harvest contract that comes up. But first, we need to work out uh, what we're going to do today. So let's have a look at uh, what we have available uh, for contract-wise. At the moment, it's a whole pile of fertilizing contracts. Uh, now, field 7 is one we haven't done yet. Field 10 is one we haven't done yet. Uh, and I think uh, Field 24, also one we haven't done yet. And that's actually a really good amount. Ah, that's that's sowing. That's why. That's sowing potatoes. That's late in the day sowing potatoes. I think let's take uh, Field 10, which we haven't done yet. Field 10 is over here. It's a nice big field. Uh, we can take on that contract there. And get that going. And hopefully, uh, as I said, hopefully we might get a different type of mission by the time we finish this one. But it's all about, we're just basically trying to earn money, keep the money flowing at the moment. Uh, seasons from scratch is all about that. It's all about keeping as much money coming in as we possibly can. Uh, because if we can have a successful time on here, uh, we can upgrade our tractors uh, and we can do all of that uh, good stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's why I want to keep going. We've got a full thing of herbicide in this is the only thing at the moment. So we are going to have to drop that off. Yeah, we have got a whole thing of herbicide. So I'm just going to take this over here. And we'll drop these. Do need somewhere in our shed to drop these. I think we'll just drop these at the end here at the moment. And then we can move them about later. So we want to have the front. We want to lift everything actually as well. So lift that. Uh, we will then empty that. Uh, big thing of herbicide there. Oh, and we've got some herbicide on the back as well. So we need to switch over to that. Wow, we really did finish last time with a lot of herbicide left over. And the thing is, neither of these tanks is going to be full. But it will mean that next time we will have plenty for us to work with. Right, so let's go fill this up from our uh, buy anywhere thing. And again, we're going to double, we're going to check here. So the price of 
the standard pallets, uh, which are a little bit more expensive. Fertilizer is 2,000 litres for 3,200. Uh, so let's see what we get. And uh, refill with liquid fertilizer. That's actually a reasonable price. We need to switch over to the other one. Oh, no. Drive forward then. Get the other one under there. Fill that up. So, about 4,000 for 2,800. Uh, how much did we get in that? I think that might be more expensive. 2,000 for... Yeah. That is... Uh, actually, that's that's fairly similar. I think I'd have to go and calculate. It's, it's not so much that I'm, I'm really questioning uh, whether I should be buying it from that or not, to be honest. Right, so where are we going? We are going to field 10, which is up the other side of field 18. So we'll head this way round. Take this up there. Uh, and yeah, I will see you up there where we'll get some spraying done. Coming up to the side of field 10 now. It's a huge field, this is. Yeah, we'll come in here. There we go. We seem to have sugar beet in this field by the looks of things. Uh, and it's quite low, which is good for us because it makes it easy for us to check uh, and uh, and spray. So yeah, this was a this this was a massively interesting thing for me. Was I was kind of expecting lots of responses that said, "No, no, no, you know, skip to the harvest. Don't keep spraying. Don't keep doing contracts." And uh, and it's kind of awesome that you guys uh, turned around and said, no, no, keep going. We want to see the progression of this. So, uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing. As it stands, uh, we're, we're going to be doing different stuff each time anyway. Uh, for example, this time we started with a lot of work on our uh, chickens. Uh, yes, we are doing fertilizing again. Uh, but hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping we may get a baling mission or two uh, that we can work with. And I've just noticed this area here. What a fantastic area next to field 10 to build a farm. It is just a massive space. Uh, so yeah, if you're looking at places to build farms on this map, and I love that I'm still discovering bits like this. Uh, but if you're looking for places to build a farm on this map, the bit beside field 10 is set up to build a farm on. That is absolutely amazing. That I've never seen that or never noticed that before. That field field ten has that. And this is this is what I mean by these are some of the best maps giants have ever produced. Uh, they are they are absolutely brilliant, and I just haven't explored them enough. Absolutely haven't. So as long as you guys are watching this series, uh, we are going to continue this series because. Yeah, there's, uh, if it's taught me anything, there is an awful lot left to uh, to do here on Felsbrunn. Uh, and an awful lot left for us to, to see and do and, and, and get done. I mean, this map is really, really good. And this is an angle, this is an area uh, and a field I've never worked before on this map. Uh, so uh, that's, that's another thing I really like on contracts, is that you get to go and explore the map a bit. So, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying the view from this field. Because uh, that's that's the rocky outcrop from field 16 that I was talking about last time. And it all just sort of works really, really well. Gorgeous map, this. About halfway through the field at this point, and we've still got 75% of our fertilizer left. Uh, so that's really good. So what we'll be looking to do... Uh, well, if we've got, if we've got a nine thousand uh, pound contract here uh, that, uh, that has only used about seventy five percent of, or there's only used twenty five percent of our fertilizer, we should be able to pick up another contract of a similar amount uh, that will allow us to uh, uh, allow us to basically use all this fertilizer across two contracts. Uh, and make a whole heap of money. We'd make about £8,000 a, uh, a contract doing that. Uh, so that is uh, that would work really well. 
Right, so hopefully we can do that. Uh, has that reached? I don't know if I'm far enough out or not quite. Ah, oh, so close. Uh, close enough, though, for us to correct and not have to worry about it as part of the contract. Uh, but yeah, so it's uh, we're, we're, we're sitting pretty. We're looking at making about another 16,000 on this uh, overall today. Uh, as a result, it looks like we'll, we'll hit about 30,000, uh, which is brilliant. Uh, we should be able to hire a significantly big combine uh, by the end of this. And I think, I think with the upcoming DLC, we're probably going to go with a class on here. Uh, I want to keep my eye out, see if I can uh, see what I can grab. But I think the class that I had on Metagrove might be a good choice. Uh, a nice mid-sized uh, combine for that. So long as it's not going to cost us an arm and a leg to hire it. Uh, otherwise, there's an old Deutz that's uh, nicely available that we could use on here that would be appropriate on this map. So, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to keep an eye out and, uh, and figure out where we're going. Um, we are going to be doing a lot of combining and a lot of work uh, with that equipment. So I want to make sure that whatever we use... Uh, is going to be a great piece of kit for us to actually use on here. Coming to the end of the second to last row now. And I uh, don't know how close we are to completing this. Where are we? We are 94% looking at that. So, uh, yeah, won't be too far along this next row. Uh, of course, the annoying thing about this next row is it's not a full width. So we're going to waste... A little bit of uh, fertilizer on it. Not a massive overlap, thankfully. Uh, so it's not too bad. Uh, but we'll finish this off uh, quickly now. Uh, I'm trying to avoid doing uh, fertilizing the same fields as we did last video. So uh, the two that, that that basically rules me out of uh, is uh, we can't do field 6 and we can't do field 22. Uh, both of which would bring in a, a handsome amount. 16, though, if it's available, uh, would be a good field for us to do. So uh, we might see if we can grab that. There we go. Contract is finished. Uh, we'll pull off here because he doesn't require us to fertilize it any further. And let's complete our contract and get our money in. So uh, 9,495. Collect that. Absolutely perfect. So the one I said I wanted to have a look at and see if it was available was field 16. Which looking through here, it is. So we can grab that contract as well. Uh, that one's fertilizing too, which is absolutely brilliant. So I'm going to take that contract and we're going to head over that way. Uh, get that done as well. It's not worth quite as much money as this one. Um, but between the two, they're worth about... Uh, uh, they're worth about five, uh, sorry, they're worth about 15,000, uh, 15, 16,000. So uh, hopefully uh, we can make the kind of money we want to make from this. We've got just over 13,000 litres left, which is slightly annoying. Um, it means we are just under half a tank or half a tank left. But on the plus side of that, uh, 16 is this way. Uh, on the plus side of that, what that means, uh, as we're doing a slightly smaller field, as we can tell by the slightly lower price, we should be okay. Uh, I'm really kind of hoping that it's all going to work out all right. Um, it's uh, it's going to be a close one any way I look at it, though. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. Field 16 is this field here. Which, yeah, is a sizable field. Uh, but as I say, not as big as field 10 was. There we go. And we can fold that out. And the interesting thing for me is that between the three series I'm doing at the moment. So this is Ireland. Um, uh, this is Ireland. Start from uh, seasons from scratch here and start from scratch on the old farm countryside is I'm finding new techniques and new uh, strategies for doing the start from scratch stuff, uh, which is really intriguing. Uh, certainly the way we're doing the realism experiment, um, my original plan for the realism experiment would have worked 
brilliantly on here. Um, and the way I'm doing the realism experiment would, would have, uh, or the way I'm doing this map would have worked brilliantly for the realism experiment. And in fact, is one of the ways we've gone for that. Uh, although I am quite pleased on that series to have gone with the pigs because the pigs are a real money maker. Uh, and I'm looking forward to uh, to trying that out on both this uh, and the old farm countryside uh, going forwards. Now we're coming up to halfway through the field and we are under 650 litres left. Now that is concerning in that it brings us really, really close to being uh, unable to complete this contract uh, without having to refill our sprayer. I'm really, really hoping that's not going to be the case. Uh, it's it's going to be close. It is going to be really close. Uh, because, of course, halfway through the field isn't necessarily halfway through the contract. Uh, we can check that as well. Uh, yeah, we are 55% of the way through the contract. So, fingers crossed, we've got just enough fertilizer to get this job done. Uh, I'm really, really hoping so. Because um, it's going to be a kicker if we don't quite have enough to make it through. Um, the other thing is, uh, as I was reflecting on as I'm, uh, as I'm doing this spraying, and I think I probably say this every time, uh, that I'm doing this, but it's really standing out for me on this field. Is uh, is I love how the weeds are done in seasons. Really, really awesome work there by uh, Relismus Modding uh, to to sort of dampen the weeds down. They're still a massive nuisance, uh, but you have to decide whether to to try and nip them in the bud and uh, and get the weeder across the field when it's it's young and. Uh, with the possibility of uh, s getting some more weeds and, and some more weeds cropping up, or whether you then uh, whether you spray the whole field with herbicide and uh, and clear it out. And I think at some point I'm going to have to have a try at um, an organic farming series and uh, and something with a bit smaller fields and things like that, and uh, and basically have a play. And see how easy it would be for us to to do organic farming and uh, and therefore not be able to spray that herbicide and not be able to use uh, the fertilizer that we're using now. You know, have, having to do it with all with slurry and uh, slurry and manure and uh, and try and, uh, and and see how successful a farm we could do with that. I think would be a really interesting series. Coming to the end again of the second to last row, we have 130 litres left of fertiliser uh, to complete this contract with. In fact, it's going to be 100 litres of fertiliser to complete this contract with by the end of this row. Uh, is it going to be enough? I'm just... We got, we were 85% left at the beginning of the field. We are now 92% of the way through the contract. It is a little bit nerve wracking. We've got an overlap here, which is not good for us. Uh, but again, it's only a small one, uh, 70 liters. How close is this gonna be? This is just, oh man, this is this is almost as, uh, as gripping as, as the FSL is. Come on, 40 liters, 36 liters. 30 litres, 20, 20 litres, oh man, we're down to our last 10 litres, I'm waiting for that green sign to appear, no, it hasn't, oh, we are 97% there, so I need to pop to the shop, uh, oh, I need to pop somewhere and grab some more fertilizer. Here we pop over the top here. We're back at our yard. We're going to fill up the rear tank uh, with fertilizer. Uh, we won't be able to stop it quickly enough for it to, uh, to not do a full fill. Uh, for example, uh, that's actually not bad. 
443. We managed to get only 25% into the tank. So that is good, actually. I'm quite happy with that. So back up to the field we go. And uh, just get this last sort of 3% of this contract finished. Uh, which will cover us pretty much for today. Because it's now 10 past 6 in the evening on the map. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, that's... That's been unfortunate, that tiny little bit. We may have actually made it without that overlap. 3% um, is such a small amount uh, that, uh, yeah, I'm just unsure about it. And unsure whether we, uh, I, yeah, I'm sure whether we would have had an issue or not. I think what we will do before we finish tonight, though, is we've been working our little MB track quite hard the last few days. And the level of dirt on it is absolutely showing. So uh, before we end today, what we will do is we'll uh, drop this back to the yard. Uh, we'll give it a hose down and make it all shiny again. Um, because, uh, yeah, it's been a good little tractor the last uh, few game days. The last few videos. Uh, doing everything we've asked of it. Uh, and I'm, I've been quite impressed with this. This has been a really useful uh, little tractor on it. Uh, so we want to avoid the barrier. Like so, and head over the top here. You could actually put an entrance to this field over the top here. Uh, but this is working well. Unfold this. Uh, where did we finish? Looks like our field is... Ah, there we go. We're up to there. So unfold this. Spray this last little bit. Uh, need to actually select the sprayer to do that, of course. Ah, hang on. I think... I thought I had connected that. Yeah, that's connected. There we go. Perfect. And we're away. Will not take much to complete this. Uh, I'm I'm intrigued to see how quickly it goes down. It's going down quicker now, but I think we've we've got more than enough in our tank here to finish this off. But thankfully, only spent a very little bit. There we go. Field 16 is finished. It is 10 to 7 uh, in game at the moment. So we're going to get this home. We're going to get this washed down. And, uh, and once we've done that, uh, we will be uh, we'll be able to finish up for the day, uh, which will be a, a really really good day. A really really good day's work, uh, and uh, and we'd have made a good amount of money. Uh, I think. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, it will take us up to. In fact, it should. Whoa, we've got a car coming. Uh, it should take us up to uh, about 30,000, which would be absolutely perfect. In fact, uh, yeah, let's let's sort that out while we're getting it washed. So I'll get this back to the yard, get it washed down, and, uh, and we will see how much we're going to end today with. Okay, so we're back at the yard. Our pressure washer is down this end. I do need to move this at some point. Uh, it's it's fine for what we're doing at the moment. But yeah, we could do moving this, I think. Uh, so grab that. We'll give our sprayer a wash down. That's all great. And our little MB track, which has done really well. Uh, I'm really impressed with this. Great little mod. Great little tractor. Has, uh, has done us proud over the last few days. We're going to get it dirty again because we're probably going to take it out next game day. Although I'm hoping we might get a bailing contract turn up at some point. And then our front tank as well. And we can then just go park this all back in the yard. Uh, back in the barn. Uh, to finish off. So, oh, round here. And that. Forward we go. And park it up in its normal spot.
And we're all done. There we are. So, uh, yeah, that has been an impressive little track today. We have earned a load of money. We haven't collected our contract yet. So let's just do that as well. 8,666 eight, 8, pounds for that. Let's collect that. That has thrown us over 31,000. Uh, so that is brilliant to be over the 30,000 mark going into uh, our uh, into the uh, harvest is great. I'm uh, just going to look at the harvesters, what we got here. Yeah, we've got quite a selection of harvesters. Um, that is the one I'm considering, the Class Lexian. Uh, the, uh, that is the 5400, uh, 5300. We can go up a little bit on that. That will cost us 15,000. Yeah, the big one of that will cost us 17,000. Uh, it has a capacity of, uh, 8,600 8, 8, litres. So that would be quite a nice combine. But there are alternatives as well. Uh, we've got this Deutz here. Uh, so we've got these top liner. Two. That holds only 5,000. Uh, I don't think we can up. Oh, no, we can up the capacity. So the capacity of that we can take up to 7,000. So we can take that a little bit closer. Um, and that will only cost 3,000 to, to hire. Um, but I think we'll, uh, we'll see where we go. For now, though, I'm going to leave this here. All that remains is for me to say a thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.